Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 10 in our Land Rover Series 3 camper conversion. As you know, in episode 2, we tried to clean Lily up, but we didn't do too great of a job. You can still see over here that the engine bay isn't perfect and everything looks, well, just a little bit off. So to help us out, we've come to the professionals at Breeze who are gonna help us out in cleaning Lily the Landy. Before we get started, let me introduce you to the guys who are gonna be doing all the work today. This over here is Anil, say hello. <laughs> hello. Awesome. And over here in the front, we've got Matthew. And these two guys together are gonna be making Lily shine. Under here, all this muck and mud just came from a quick power wash of the underside, and that's just how dirty Lily is after having been a farm truck for most of her life. and he's the CEO of Breeze and he is gonna tell you a little bit about what goes on when they're cleaning a car and how they made Lily so spotless. So, um, today we got Lily who came in this morning at around eight o'clock. We started off seeing the situation of how dirty she was in the beginning. She was quite left in a state of, I could say, one to ten, ten or even eleven. Inside, like we can start off with, we started off cleaning her with brushes and with vacuum cleaners, so we get rid of all the dust gathering from the top and the bottom. Then we started using special degreasers from basic degreasers all the way up to acids, so we're taking off all the grime, the grease, the contamination, and killing all the bacteria. Then we wiped it all down completely from top to bottom, and then we resprayed it with a sanitization for the smell and to keep it fresh and clean for like a long lasting time. Then on the, on the dashboard, we actually did it with vinyl and leather cleaner, even the seat, to give it that shiny look and that shiny touch. The glass was thin. the glass was done like you can see the front too with vinegar like around three to four times, giving off that extra dirt and extra grim. On the outside, we started off with a degreaser wash and a power wash just to get rid of that extra grime. Then we started using brushes to take off the extra dirt between the grooves and all the other stuff. From the bottom, like you can see all the dirt on the floor, we use power washers, degreasers, but that was not enough, so we had to actually use plastic scrapers to take it all off. So the whole body now is visible. So the engine bay, like you can see in the previous videos, there, there was a leak from the radiator, which contaminated the whole engine bay. We started off by covering the air filter to protect it from the water going into the air filter and then which the eventually will not let the car to start. Then we covered the wires to make sure that there is no electronics um, faults. We started off with a pre-wash, so just taking off with some hot water and soap. Then we used the degreasers. We let it stay for a few minutes and started using paint brushes to work the degreaser. Then we just power washed it all off and we, we make sure that we wipe it after and blow, blow dry it with an air compressor to make sure that any water stuck in the grooves are taken off so it doesn't have that uh, steam. So when you're driving it, you have all that steam coming out and going through all the bolts and cracks. Over here, we're using um, a completely new system not found in water yet. This is a completely eco wash. So we wash the car from the outside without water. So it's a special degreaser and a special chemical which goes through 
the dirt, lifts it between the body and the dirt particles, and we just wipe it off with a microfiber cloth, which then we just buff it, and, and the last compared to a normal wash and using this, is around two to three months better lasting effect. That's also going to help the environment by saving a ton of water, you I guess. You're saving tons of water, so normally to wash a Land Rover 110 would, would need around 200 to 250 liters of water to do the detailing that we have done. So that's it for episode 10 in the Land Rover Series 3 1984 camper conversion. Thanks again to Breeze for helping us out, because without them, Lily definitely wouldn't be this shiny. And just for the last thing, you can check out the interior over here, which is jet black and shining. So I'm going to be driving, feeling like I'm in a brand new car. Yeah.